Okay, so this is a tutorial for Penumbra, Penumbra Black Plague. First thing you're gonna want to do with the game is to remap your controls because you're gonna get tired of holding shift the entire time so you can just map around to caps lock. <coughs> because mapping it to a caps lock or scroll lock or num lock makes running toggle which makes your life a lot easier. I also mapped gr uh, crouch to E because I think it's nicer than spamming control. And it's not like you're ever gonna need, need to lean in this game. Without this knowledge, and we're gonna have to play on easy difficulty to, uh, to skip one area. <clears throat> so, roughly three seconds after gaining control, you're gonna be doing the first trick of the run. Which is a clipping through this wall. A clipping is done by placing an object close to a wall and jamming your, yourself uh, between the object and the wall. Kind of like that. Except that I got uh, too much speed with the clip and end up completely out of bounds. You could not have the, will to the thing most people don't seem to get with the skips is that as you're clipping you have to jump to actually perform the clip and they just stay be between the object and the wall without ever getting anywhere. So once you're actually properly in between the things, uh, just jump and you should make it through. And if the angle is good, you go right through easily. That's just normal gameplay, you want to uh, break the cable using the brick. Take the syringe. And the rest of this room is fairly normal, aside from the way you exit it. Because you have no time to complete the puzzle here, just take the shelf, grab it, push it against the wall, and this corner right here is just perfect for clipping, and you'll hit the load zone for the next area. Really simple clip. It's one of the few where you don't have to actually place the object in a specific way and you have a setup instead. There are a couple of ways to complete this room. You can either uh, clip through this ceiling right here and oh, you have to uncrouch at a specific moment. There we go. And you can just uh, jump over to the exit using a uh, using an item that's behind that wall. But I find that to be way too inconsistent for a single segment run. So instead I'm gonna take this brick with me. Go across this gap. This floor breaks, but you don't have to go as long as you jump over it. No, no danger there. And then you place this brick on top of this gas leak. And for whatever reason, it blocks the gas leak completely and allows you to get through. Clean this range with alcohol, take some blood from the scientist, and use the scientist to jump over these lasers. The jump can be a bit finicky because, well, the scientist isn't exactly on an even platform. But it's not that that tricky of a jump. It can kill you a couple of times, but shouldn't be a big deal. In the mess hall, you want to grab this chair and place it next to this pillar right here. And you want to use this to help you clip. It's, the chair is not necessary, but it makes this clip a lot easier because it uh, prevents for you from uh, running past this pillar. Just jam yourself between the pillar and the wall and jump. Apparently you also have to hold into the direction where you want to clip to, as I just learned right there. And you should end up in this room or the room I was in. In any case, you come back to this room, pick up a cereal box, Come here and grab the cereal box and you want to uh, like grab it from a far away like that. Get close to the wall and jump and it should fall out of bounds. Do not let go of the cereal box, crouch, turn around and let go. Now the cereal box should be in the sewer that's right below you. And what you need to understand in this room is that Right under you, there's a sewer pipe. 
and you want to get there. And you can use this you can use this desk and this wall to clip. But since the sewer is right under you, you can't just clip and fall over there. You have to fall over there. So you have to make a bit of a U-turn as you clip. It's also a, a bit of a unique clip jump as you do it. All you have to do is walk and here I, I'm gonna turn right and as soon as I see that I'm getting the clip, I'm gonna uh, turn sharply to the left. Like that. I'm also holding A on the keyboard as I do the clip. And that allows me to drop down through the sewer. And coming up is the first object tower and probably the most difficult object tower in the game. So you want to be standing on this cereal box, grab onto it and jump. Just repeatedly press jump and you should be able to fly to the exit. You have to turn slowly to the left to make it. That can be a bit tricky to figure out at first. But uh, once you do it a few times, you should be able to find the sewer. As long as you land somewhere in the sewer, you'll be fine. This is a much easier place to object cover because you can actually see properly. And I actually dropped the item, but that's fine. Because I still made it. And there are boxes here that I can use for this last jump. And did my game just crash? <laughs> would be extremely appropriate for a tutorial. No, it didn't crash, it just froze for a moment. I use this box to touch the lid over there. That's a beautiful split right there. Nothing interesting in this room, just move the fuse and stop the call, and you can just mash, mash through this uh, conversation using ESC. You still have to answer the, con answer the call in that case. In this room, I'm not completely sure if this is the optimal route yet. There is a chance that uh, we have a more optimal route that might include the saw. But for the moment, I believe this is at least good enough for a tutorial. You want to place this barrel somewhere in this area. Because you're gonna be using that to clip just in a chest of water. This entire section is in a timer, you can't really do anything until uh, Clarence is again talking. So you're not in a hurry at all. As long as you place that barrel and are ready at this door, you'll be fine. And behind this door is a brick, and you want to use that brick to clip later on. Just take it with you, drag it in this direction. And you want to do the same thing you did with the cereal box. Grab it from far away, get close to the door, and it just falls out of bounds. Lift it up and drop it. Now it should be on the hallway other side of this locked door. And now you want to use this barrel to clip into the hallway over there. Fairly simple clip. Most of the time. And that skips the entire computer room in the game. In this room there are two clips, both are fairly simple. In the first one just grab this chair and move it straight to the left. And jump. That's it. One of the easier clips in the game in my opinion. Because again it's one of the few where you kind of have a setup. Take the head. And for the next clip, you can uh, you can just walk between this thing and the wall and jump at the right moment, and you should end up on the other side. Optionally, you can take this chair, place it just like that, and it should make the clip a lot easier. And you're true. It's kind of. Uh, it's a bit random where you end up after this clip. You might find yourself, find yourself in this room, for instance. Or you might just fly all the way to this door. So, you're running around with a human body all right. Your backpack and this is one of the more precise clips in the game. You have to take the brick, align it with this corner right here. 
and place it not like that, but like that should be good. In the middle of this block right here, just look at the lines on the floor and you should be able to figure out where to put it. I think that's pretty much perfect. You might want to experiment with this as you learn, because it is still a fairly precise clip and I am new to it. But that should be good now for clipping. And if you don't get it the first try, just make sure the uh, brick is still in properly placed, because uh, the brick is a light object, so you can move it by walking into it. And if you mess up, the brick is probably going to move a tiny bit. But there we go. Went right through. So now I have the hedge. And for the hand, I need the saw, which is right here. Like I said, uh, the route in the, this room may change so that we can pick up the saw earlier on. Just about a rusty but saw impossible to say right deeper. now. I, I haven't done enough testing with that. Recently. And that room is the reason why we play on easy, because you can just walk right through the gas without taking too much damage. On normal and hard mode, you just uh, die in that room. You want to use the computer before you go fight the worm in the next room, uh, because if you if you attempt to use the computer. After fighting the worm, Let Clarence will be talking and that will prevent you from course. using ESC to close the computer. Just a small thing, but it can make your life a tiny bit easier. You can manipulate the worm by uh, standing next to the wall you want it to go through, and you of course want it to go through that specific wall, so you can let it do it. The rest of the room is just normal gameplay, use the hand. And use the valve. It's not too late to just slam your head against the wall until you pass out, Joe. There we it go. Might be easier than carrying on. And that's a split for me. You know, the one thing that keeps Only lost a minute. Going nice. Is that when I finally work out this is residential. The archaic biologists do uh, not take their work. I believe right <laughs> apparently right here that I I'll just walk through and there is a trigger which makes the door here disappear and How you have to walk cute. this close to the door just close enough so Clarence start, starts talking and then you can queer. turn around walk back go across this line oh, right here old me. I and walk back and the door should be there again with, have I? No, not that way. You sure you know where we're going? It is possible to skip all those triggers, but I don't think it's consistent enough for a single segment. No sequence breaks in this room, just pull the book and hit the switch. Alright, so in this room you'll be using item hovering to get all the way up there. First, I think it's better if you move the box a tiny bit. Uh, towards the thing, <laughs> and because we are gonna get gain height on this particular hover, you're gonna want to crouch, then grab the item, uncrouch, and then start spamming jump. That makes you gain height a lot faster than uh, without crouching, and then just maneuver over the platform. You don't have to answer this uh, video chat, unlike the previous one. You can just hit S and be done with it. Don't forget to pick up the lighter while outside. And instead of using the bridge, we are gonna use item hovering to get across this pit. Go. Which arguably I am, I'd be asking myself in a gormless sort of voice, did that bridge really collapse, or is my good friend Clarence just And the rest of this area is just is normal gameplay. The answer, monkey man, is that I don't even know myself. You can stand pretty close to the exploding barrel. 
as it explodes. At least on easy difficulty. As, as the explosion happens, we can just start running and mashing, mashing the mouse button. Okay, so on the to-do list, find this damsel in distress. Oh, and in case you hadn't realized yet, despite me not saying it, uh, jumping is a tiny bit faster than just running. So you want to be jumping a whole lot in this game. Right there, the camera turns on its own. I didn't do anything. You want to move this box right here as a preparation for an upcoming skip. You want to be pretty fast about it because there is an enemy following you right there. Alright, Chemical Lab. This is the biggest sequence break in the game and the most difficult one. Want to fix a broken pipe and you don't want to save like I'm about to do here. As I'm just doing that for safety, so I won't have to do it every time I mess up during this tutorial. Alright, so it's an easy way to do this clip, in my opinion. Is to place a barrel right here and clip through that wall and hope you make it like that. Optionally you can go through the other wall on the right from here, which allows you to skip Take a right turn. Skip pulling the switch right here. Just a small time saver, but really risky if you don't get it. Alright, and you don't have to go this. The first room, or the second room actually here, is completely normal, just hit the switch and exit the room. But you want to take the barrel with you, so you can do a skip here. Above there, there's a trigger that uh, closes the door that's behind this wall, and forces you to uh, hit two switches in the area. But you don't want to do that, obviously, you just want to place this barrel properly, and clip right through the wall, and the door is already open and you can skip hitting the switches. It's a, it's a fairly risk-free jump, so even if it doesn't save a whole lot of time, you should still be doing it. And this puzzle is just completely normal. Unfortunately. Because it's, in my opinion, the most inconsistent puzzle in the game, because this thing can get stuck as it falls. Luckily it didn't happen this time. Also, I like how the door is not properly blocked over there. Happens sometimes, you don't have to worry about it. Right. So remember the box we placed last time we were here. Now you want to hope it's properly placed because once again there is an enemy after you. I don't really have time to showcase this, but you want to go through that wall, and over here there should be a door, but I am actually in a hurry. And if you mash mouse button one, you can actually just click the door before it disappears. But I, as evidence, just, just barely missed it, so I had to run around. Not a huge time loss, it's most, mostly just a fancy trick. Thanks for the laughs, Clarence. Nothing. Just a potion and a big fat screw you. Good times. You know, all these Nothing special in this room, just pick up all the, the ingredients be and solve the puzzle the intended no way. It's the only thing you actually have to memorize as far as puzzles go.
And the correct combination is something like that. And after this cutscene you want to be holding uh, left and backwards and you should be able to strafe right after the room. Like that. Saves a tiny bit of time. Oh, actually I missed a split. There we go. <laughs> Only six minutes behind, nice. And this is the longest cutscene in the game. This one was more human than he would have believed. Mankind, for his actions, I am sorry. But while this gets in place, I can actually talk to the chat. And yes, I am indeed from Finland. Do not hate me. There's nothing interesting you can do here to speed things up at least. But uh, I feel that it's pretty much your duty if you speed on this to do something stupid. Like uh, clip through these pillars. Let's see if I can even do it. There we go. Blah blah. Or you can line up these pillars just by spamming the jump key and trying to line up the side like this. I actually want to get on top of my chest to showcase it. I guess not. Come on. There we go. And I already fell off. And I fell off and clipped. That's how easy it is to clip in this game. You just fall the wrong way and suddenly you are out of bounds. And that nice boost was me jumping. Okay, so now there's uh, three challenges that I have to complete to prove that mankind is another piece of shit. In the first one my goal is to get to the other side of this door. So I'm gonna take this pipe. And I only take, take the pipe so the guy on this side of the wall won't start talking to me. So pull out the brick, use the pipe on the wall, and okay, stay there. jump on this brick, crouch, grab the brick, uncrouch, and spam jump and hope you make it on the other side that's gonna be a bit of a tri uh, tricky flight because uh, once you go high enough you can't see anything and you just have to assume that you are going over it over the wall it's not a huge deal if you don't you just have to wait for the guy who you get the pipe to to open the door for you it takes like 10 seconds maybe I'm not sure what you're supposed to do in this uh, uh, challenge normally, but in speedrun you want to jump on this switch. Just spam jump until you make it, that's my tip. And then spam some jump some more until you make it on the wall. And try not to walk off the wall. And then just walk along it until you get to the door. Simple uh, skip. Death is a time. necessary part of life, but not all deaths are necessary. Thank you, mankind. 
And time for the last challenge. All you want to do in this challenge is to get between the wall and this box. Because it's perfectly placed like it is, don't touch it at all, just jam yourself between the two and jump at the right time. If you miss the timing, it's no big deal, you, you'll probably just get flung in the TAD direction or TAD direction. If you get uh, thrown into TAD direction, there's a small cutscene, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, just... As I just demonstrated, there's the cutscene, no big deal, just try again. There we go, and the exit trigger is, for whatever reason, outside of the room, over here. I am relieved, mankind. In a being such as you, selfishness would be catastrophic. You have shown that you can be higher than you exist, and for this reason, I shall reveal to you that which I revealed to Howard. And final room in the game. So we're almost done. This is one of the more difficult clips in the game, unfortunately. You want to use this shelf to go through that wall. And this shelf is really bad for clipping. But it's the only thing we can use in this room. And I really hope I don't mess this up. For much time, I lie dormant within what you refer to as the infested. It does save a lot of time. Benefiting from my knowledge and And I'm not doing a good job placing it. It's really difficult to place and it's not good for clipping to begin with. Right, so I should already be in the other room as that door opens, because that, the sound of that door opening is your cue. Let's hope I can... I'm still gonna do the clip to showcase it. That is not good enough, I don't think. Actually, it might be. It wasn't. Placing this thing is not easy. Actually, that seems like a halfway decent corner. Alright. And jump. And there we are. I'm on the other side of the uh, wall. Now just touch the computer, and you don't want to touch this computer until you heard the uh, door open. Then you just touch things in the room. The poster. The door. If you touch the computer before the door opens in the other room, you won't be able to touch the door I just touched. And the game is soft locked. And as you touch the computer for the second time, it's time. And you get to see the in game time right there. And that's the number of Black Plague. And I actually think that was a no reset run, so. I'd say that went fairly well for a tutorial. Faster than my average marathon run, I think. <laughs> so there's that. I hope you got something out of that and possibly learn how to speedrun this game. <laughs>